The number one video on the channel is the one about the uh, finish that I put on the raised beds. People are interested in how it lasted, what the ingredients were, and how long it lasted. Quite a few different questions, but they pretty much want to come down to did this finish actually do the job that I said it would do? And I think the best thing to do is to show you what it looks like on our raised beds. Now we have th three different timelines running on this finish that the uh, National Park Service uses for putting on their picnic tables and, and other things that they leave out in the parks that is made of wood. So, I think this deserves another talk about, don't you? This is a 4x4 four four raised bed that I put in a couple of years ago. We're looking at the south side right here. And these are three quarter inch. The original boards I put in on the original raised beds were uh, actual uh, one inch, one and a quarter inch. But these are a little bit thinner and they're two years old. Do they show a little wear? A little bit, but not bad. There's no punkiness to it. This is the front side, the north side, facing the house. We've got a little bit of moss, but it's not punky. And it's two years old on this this type of board now because of the thickness of the different boards the original ones were about 50 percent thicker than what these boards are I think they'll probably outlast these but these are still in very good shape I have no concern on it again I've only went through and prepared the wood with the coatings, I would put on uh, two coats, letting it air dry in between, and I didn't build it until I had an air dry board. And this is all construction lumber, it's nothing fancy. Now these were the last raised beds I put in. I put three of them in. It's the thinner type of board. I'll get the measurements for you of what they are. But I think it's a nominal one inch, which is three quarter inch. The north side, down here, even where it's wet, it's not punky at all. It's in very good shape. It's weathering nicely. You know, most wood is going to turn gray when the ultraviolet hits it. Okay, this is the south side of the latest set of raised beds I put in, and I built them, and they were out uh, spring of last year. There's some dampness here, but I don't feel any punkiness. It's in very good shape. So I've got six raised beds that are 4x8 and two raised beds that are four by four. Okay, five years ago, I built this first set of raised beds and I haven't put anything on it. I haven't done anything to these. I haven't even adjusted the way that the pieces are hooked together. The screws have held very well. It's showing some age. 
and a little bit of pitting here and there. There is a little bit of moss on it, but I don't consider that a problem. Uh, it's still pretty solid wood. It looks like I have at least probably two to three more years that I can still use these boards for raised beds. Not bad for putting a double coat of finish onto these boards. Now this is the north side. Let's take a look at what it looks like on the south side where it gets more sun. Okay, this is the south side of the uh, raised bed. Sun comes in like this, hits the board so it gets a bit more wear and tear because of the ultraviolet. And this board is in pretty good shape. Now on the north side, we had a little bit of moss. On the south side, it looks like something does bloom every once in a while, but the sun takes care of it. Maybe it's a little bit of mold or, or whatever, a fungus. But this board is still in good shape, even down at ground level. In fact, I might say this board might last longer than the north facing board. And that's five years. So as you can see, this stuff does a pretty good job. I think the only other way of making it last longer and do a better job of protecting the wood is to use an epoxy mixture that has an ultraviolet protection built into it. But then you're talking about some harsh chemicals that you may not want into your raised beds. So what do I think of this stuff? I'm going to keep using it, and I hope you do too. Before we go, thank you to our subscribers who helped us reach over the 1,000 subscription mark. It's very humbling to receive the support from our subscribers. Thank you. I will always try to give you accurate information, and I'm not worried if you disagree in comments. Just remember, youngsters may read your words. Well, this is the old farmer Scott Payne saying, Be well. Be safe and be kind to someone today. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, share, or ring the bell buttons on the original Old Farmer channel. We enjoy reading the comments that you leave and they do help the channel, so keep them coming. And once again, thank you for watching the original Old Farmer. The VFW National Home for Children, providing families of veterans and active duty military opportunities for growth and development in a nurturing community. Please consider a donation to help their children and families. Icy Road speaking.